ISO. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning into another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's go ahead and get into this. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my crystal collection, okay? So I have like quite a few, not, not a lot, but you know, enough crystals. Most of my crystals do the same thing or like work together, so I'm just gonna be talking about, you know, which ones I got and like why I got them and like a little bit of the properties that you know they give off so I got these crystals from Etsy I'm gonna go ahead and link the page that I got them from down in the description box they ship really fast when I did get them it was like during the time where it was storming a lot they came from a, like a shop in Florida so it was really raining you know bad weather and I still got these crystals in less than five days from me ordering them so they ship really fast and the crystals are really nice they didn't come damaged or anything so I will highly recommend this store so go ahead and get your crystals down below okay the first crystal I'm going to be talking about today is amethyst don't mind my dog in the background he's laying down but this is my amethyst have two of these and this stone is for groundingness tranquility and it's supposed to help keep you calm so you know it's a really good stone for like every day a lot of people get this stone you know this is like the most popular one pretty much so you know I decided to get it the next one I have is the rose quartz so this is what it looks like So this one is supposed to help with unconditional love and healing. So I got this one because like I have a big heart, you know, I love to love and yeah, I love this one. It's, it just makes you feel good, you know. So the next stone I got is obsidian and this is a protection stone. This one protects you against negative energy as well as it helps dissolve um, emotional blockage. So I am an emotional person, I'm not gonna lie. And this one does help me, you know, get through some of my things. So keep that in mind if you are that kind of person. And I don't like negativity, so go ahead and keep that over there, okay? The next stone I have is the tiger's eye. And all of my stones are raw because that's what I prefer. Um, you can get them, you know, shaped or smooth, something like that, like if that's what you prefer. But, you know, I prefer the raw version because it's like when someone is shaping your stone, their energy is getting transferred into that stone. So like you kind of have to, obviously when you get your stones, you have to clean them, you know, but cleanse them. But still, I just rather have, you know, less energies around me and I'd rather have the raw thing that comes you know, straight from the earth. So yeah. This is the tiger's eye. This is also another protection stone. It also helps ground your energies. It attracts good luck and it helps to focus your mind. So that's that one. The next one I have is Hemonite. This one is another protection stone. It also is a grounding stone as well as it absorbs negative energy. Like I said before, keep all that negativity somewhere else. I know that one, none of that room. And I like to stay grounded, you know, stay humble, stay good, leveled. So that's why I bought a lot of grounding stones and protection stones. So I have clear quartz. And I have a bunch of these, like little shards of them. And this is like, you know, the basic starter stone. It's known as the master healer. It helps to amplify energies as well as it enhances your other crystals. So 
always start out with this I guess if you want to get crystals so yeah the next one I have is citrine and I have a, like a lot of little shards of these just like the um, clear quartz So this one is like, I got it because it was like my birth month, like November, you know, golden topaz, I'm a Scorpio, so <laughs> shout out to y'all if it's any Scorpios out there, okay? But yeah, this one gives off good energy and it helps, you know, strengthen your self-esteem, so that's why I got this one. Last one I have is the Fancy Jasper. This one was a gift from my boyfriend's sister. It's like a necklace and I love it this is my favorite color orange <laughs> so this stone it brings wholeness it helps to heal the environment you're in it helps to balance and align your physical and mental emotional bodies as well so this one is a really great one to get as well How I use my stones are pretty much I hold them and just relax with them. They give off energy for me, you know. It just helps me to relax mainly. That's why I use them for the most part. I also sometimes meditate with them. And for me, it's hard for me to focus. So I have to put on like some meditation music and sit back and just, you know, relax. Hold the crystals in my hand and just think positive things. Manifest what you want and you know make sure you keep up with your routine okay because i'm lazy and i sometimes don't keep up with my routine but it is important to keep up with it how i charge my crystals are like in the sunlight or like the moonlight so if you have some good sunlight or moonlight charge it in that time um <clears throat> you'll be able to know when your crystals need to be charged and you should be able to know when your crystals need to be cleansed as well. It's like they'll kind of tell you, you know, it's, it's kind of weird. Like you won't really feel their energy as strong when you need to charge them. So you just, you know, put it in outside in your backyard or whatever the case may be and just let it charge up or in like your windowsill, somewhere where you have some good sunlight. The way I cleanse my crystal is I um, run it under some water for like 30 seconds or a minute or so I just feel like that they've ran under the water long enough. That's how I do it. Um, you can also make moon water. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube how to do it. I can explain it a little bit. I haven't really done it because I don't get the best moonlight where I live, so yeah. But you can get like a mason jar and put some water in it. And then you put it outside. You make sure that the moon is hitting your water. And before the sun comes up, like right before the sun comes up, you have to make sure you get the water because it cannot touch any sunlight, okay? that's that's the really important thing so yeah this wasn't really an informational video it was more of like what i have and what i do with my crystals so maybe i will get more into depth into an in-depth video on everything if that's something you guys would like so just let me know but thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video